Child abuse allegations against Michael Jackson began in 1993. These accusations began on the day of the start of the third part of the Dangerous World Tour in 1993. But what was the real story? The story begins when a man named Evan Chandler, father of Jordan Chandler, claims that Michael sexually abused his 13-year-old son. Evan Chandler was a dentist, but he had a dream of the movie making in his head. He asked Michael for 20 million money to make his films, but Michael did not accept his request. Evan threatened Michael that if he didn't pay, he would arrange charges against him, but Michael didn't care, and finally Evan did it. In 1987, Michael bought a 2,800 hectare property at a price between 17 and 20 million dollars. He founded this place with the hope of being able to create a free and recreational place for orphaned and sick children who are unable to live and play in the community. He named this farm from the Peter Pan cartoon Neverland, which means the land that does not exist. Michael opened a well-equipped cinema and zoo in this city. Every week, Jackson brings a group of sick children with their parents and orphans from orphanages to this place to play and explore. Also, in 1993, after making Neverland, during the Dangerous Tour, he visited orphanages and children's hospitals in every city and invited them to his concerts for free. He donated this tour to charity. Michael was on this tour when he met Jordan Chandler's family. Jordan Chandler was the 13-year-old son of Evan Chandler. Jordan's parents were separated from each other and were fighting over the custody of their children. During these disputes, Jordan Chandler's father, Evan Chandler, was fined $68,000 by the court for failing to take care of his son, and Jordan's custody went to his mother. During these trials, they accused each other of child abuse in order to make each other look incompetent. At the same time, Evan asked Michael for $20 million to achieve her longtime dream of filmmaking but she faced Michael's opposition. Evan then threatened to file child abuse charges against Michael. On July 11, 1993, Evan Chandler arranged for his son Jordan to meet Michael. But over the weekend, he refused to hand over Jordan to his mother. Jordan's mother's lawyer filed a petition for her son's return and the judge ordered Evan Chandler to return Jordan to his mother at 6 p.m. on August 17th. On the morning that Jordan was supposed to be returned to his mother, Evan Chandler took his son to a physical therapist and claimed that Michael Jackson had sexually abused his son. He did not make this complaint public, and only intended to threaten and scare Jackson, but the physical therapist reported this claim to the National Organization for Children and Families in accordance with the laws of the state of California. On August 24, 1993, on the day of the start of the third part of the Dangerous World Tour, Michael Jackson was wanted by the police on charges of sexual harassment of a 13-year-old boy. While Michael was in Bangkok, Thailand, the federal police raided the Neverland farm. They ransacked the whole house to get evidence but found nothing against Michael. Jordan Chandler claimed in court that Jackson touched him genitals under the influence of a suspected sedative called sodium amytel and experienced kissing oral satisfaction and masturbation with him. Michael's legal team denied these claims with a statement, but Evan Chandler tried to satisfy them by bargaining for a financial settlement. During the disclosure of one audio file, even Chandler says, If I do this, my great era will begin. I can't lose. I can take whatever I want, and they will be destroyed forever. This is the end of Michael's work. Jordan's mother and the children who went to Neverland did not accept this charge. But the story intensified when Latoya Jackson, Michael Jackson's sister, testified against him in court. She later said that she did it because her husband threatened to kill Michael. The investigators questioned all the employees of Neverland and the children who went there, but they found nothing against Michael. As a last resort, they decided to take pictures of Michael's naked body and asked Jordan to draw Michael's genitalia and give it to the police. 
Jackson consented to a 25-minute body search of his home. This inspection was performed to confirm an exact match to the image provided by Jordan. During the interrogation, Jordan had given explanations about Michael's genitals to the police, and to prove the truth of this claim, they forced Michael to take pictures of his private parts. The obtained photos do not confirm Jordan's statements. During the interrogation, Jordan drew a picture of a circumcised penis for the police, while Michael was uncircumcised. In later statements, it is said that Jordan made his accusations against Michael under the influence of sodium amatel, a psychoactive drug prescribed to him by his dentist father. In justifying his action, Evan said that he used this substance for his son's dental surgery, while the use of this hallucinogenic substance is prohibited. Jackson released an emotional statement about what happened, declaring his innocence and criticizing what he called biased media coverage. Jackson's close friends later stated that he never recovered from the humiliation of his body search. During Michael's trials, the media tried to destroy him and wrote false articles about him with yellow headlines. The contents were written only to destroy Michael and tried to destroy his public image among the people. During these events, Michael Jackson turned to sedatives and painkillers and was addicted to these drugs by the fall of 1993. Michael's health condition worsened to such an extent that he cancelled his Dangerous World Tour and was admitted to addiction treatment centers for several months. He lost a lot of weight due to loss of appetite. Because of this bad health condition, people around him took control of his financial situation. In the end, the media announced that the issue was resolved by giving Evan Chandler $15 million. Jackson was never arrested, and the case was dismissed as insufficient evidence. Two days after Michael's death in 2009, Jordan Chandler admitted that he was never abused by Michael, and that his father Evan forced him to testify against Michael for money. In 2011, the United Nations declared that Michael Jackson was innocent and had never committed child abuse. A few months after the death of Michael Jackson, Jordan's father, Evan Chandler committed suicide with a gun. Those around him considered the reason for his suicide to be torment of conscience. Thank you.